Okay, it gives me great pleasure to introduce Earl Colvert. Earl was born in Toronto in 1938. He spent the Second World War and started school in Brooklyn, New York. His father was in the Canadian Navy, loaned to the British Navy to install and service the newly developed radar on this side of the Atlantic. After the war, he went to school in Toronto and mainly in Ottawa. He graduated in medicine from Queen's University in 1963. After internship, he practiced medicine in Hay River in the Northwest Territories for 32 years. After to moving to Alberta, he returned to the medical practice for two years, or in Alberta two years later for another 14 years in Cold, Coaldale and Lethbridge. Earl started collecting stamps when his mother gave him a stamp album for Christmas in 1947. He went on to collect Mint British Commonwealth Queen Elizabeth II stamps. He sold them after marriage while in university to a classmate to buy a car. The, class, the, the classmate gave them back to Earl years later. In Edmonton, in Edmonton, he saw an advertisement at the Bay for Edmonton Stamp Club's spring show. He went and was given a copy of Lynn's. There was a review of Jim Webb's first catalog for $3. Earl sent for it, and when he found a revalued election envelope, he sent it to Jim Webb, a photo, or sent to Jim Webb a photocopy of the unlisted item. Several weeks later, his wife got repeated phone calls from a collector in Staten Island. <laughs> Eventually, they got talking, met at Bill Walton's, and became friends for 51 years. He got involved in BNAFs, where Earl has been secretary, board member, board chairman, and president, and now convention chairman. Bill and Earl took over Webb's catalog of Postal Stationery of Canada, Newfoundland. The <coughs> edition was published in 2019, and I might add, it's an excellent reference piece. Earl has produced five other books, the last four by BNAFs Book Department. Earl's collected many areas, including Ecuador, Chile, Canadian liquor seals and tobacco tax paids and revenues as well as Canadian postal stationery. He has, he has on bnaps.org an addition to webs of a listing of Canadian premium products plus a list, list of illustrated permits. He has started to sell off some of his items as his books have been published. With further ado, I will pass this over to Earl. This uh, talk is about uh, religious illustrated permits used by religious groups. And somebody said, why do I use religious groups? Well, religious groups in my uh, collection, there are over 40 different religious groups with over 400 different illustrated permits. They represent about a fifth of the total number of illustrated permits I have. There are many more that people have sent me scans of, and uh, they're shown on the uh, BNAPS.org website under publications and online library. I thank the people who have sent me scans and invite others to send me scans, or if you don't collect this, send me the items and uh, I will not read all the text that's underneath each of these uh, because they'll be on the uh, uh, group's website. Now, the, uh, oh, fine, just a second. The first thing is taken from Canada Post website. The uh, top two on the right-hand side are not illustrated permits, so we won't talk about those at all. The next group of four with uh, black, uh, where the pictures or text would be, have no QR code. The bottom, uh, and I'll refer to the ones on the, uh, left-hand side of those uh, as uh, horizontal and the ones on the right-hand side is vertical. Now we'll go down to the bottom uh, six 
And these show uh, ones with QRS codes. They're the ones with the uh, blue uh, place for a picture or text. And they have the uh, QR code on the left-hand side and the uh, a permit number on the right-hand side. Now on the bottom of the uh, left-hand side, this just appeared early in 2021, and it's similar except that the uh, permit number is above the QR code. Um, Canada Post uh, originally did not allow advertising or names in the uh, uh, indicia. Uh, some of the people put their names in, uh, for instance, uh, Reader's Digest and uh, uh, put in either a logo or a picture. Uh, it was uh, not supposed to be legal, but they did it anyway. Now we'll go to looking at some of the uh, actual things. This is Athletes in Action. This is a bit of an unusual one in that it has a picture beside the permit, uh, somewhat similar to some of the uh, uh, forerunners uh, that were supposedly illegal, but this one is a, a vertical one. Uh, it only has one thing, but it has the uh, Canada Post logo at the top and uh, uh, personalized mail with the French below. All permits, whether they have English first or French first, have to be bilingual. Uh, the uh, Canada Post recommends that all permits used in the province of Quebec have uh, French first and English below. Uh, however, uh, a number of uh, groups uh, do both in Quebec. They target to an English audience or a, a French audience. Now, at the bottom of the thing, we have return postage guaranteed in the same in French. I won't read it in French because my French would be terrible. And then there's the, uh, the QR code and the uh, permit number. Now, one word about permit numbers. The permit number uh, was obtained by the user. However, uh, a number of people have gone to a mailing house and the mailing house has used their permit number rather than a permit number from the individual. And that is why in some cases, if you look at the listing on the BNAP's website, you'll find as many as eight or 10 users with the same uh, permit number. This is the permit number from the mailing house rather than from the individual user. Now, Billy Graham Association in Canada. This is a uh, horizontal one with no QR code and only the uh, uh, permit number at the bottom and a picture. Uh, the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association of Canada have got at least uh, 40 different pictures uh, that they have used and they go back and forth between a regular permit and a uh, illustrated permit. Now we have Canada Family Action. This is a, uh, a vertical permit uh, because it's taller than it's wider and it's got a uh, QR code, the uh, permit number and a picture uh, to the uh, uh, right. As I said, I will not read all the, uh, the uh, thing at the bottom. This was taken from 
uh, either their website or from uh, Googling them and uh, uh, seeing what they had to say about their purpose or their history. We have Canadian Baptist Ministries. This is a uh, further uh, horizontal permit with a QR code and a permit number and a picture and as well the Canadian Baptist logo is appears with the uh, in the picture the same as on the uh, uh, the right hand side of the uh, uh, the left hand side of the uh, the actual uh, envelope. What I've shown here is the envelope uh, in each case, and then an enlargement of the uh, permit. Uh, Canadian Bible Society have a uh, vertical permit. They have had them with QR codes in and without QR codes in. This has got a QR code. Then we have Canada's Gospel Music Celebration. This is a, a music uh, conference in Red Deer, Alberta. And again, it is a uh, horizontal one. It's got no QR code, but the uh, number. And uh, then we go to Canadian. Uh, the Office of Card the Cardinal. Cardinal Collins in uh, Toronto, and it's a horizontal uh, picture. Uh, there is no QR code, and Shared Life, which is their logo, is also in the uh, the picture. This is uh, uh, Catholic Missions in Canada. This is a. Uh, uh, fundraising group for the uh, Roman Catholic Church in Canada. And it is a uh, vertical one. It's got a uh, QR code. I'm sorry, no QR code and just the uh, uh, permit number as well. This has Catholic missions in Canada at the bottom of the picture part of the permit. This is, I have at the top, I have uh, on my screen, I have the uh, thing blacked out. Uh, okay, I'll put it down at the bottom. Uh, Catholic Social Services in Edmonton. And uh, this is a uh, fundraising group for uh, various Catholic uh, uh, charities. Christian Blind Mission. This is a weird one. This really is a forerunner. It has pictures and uh, uh, indicia, but it really isn't a uh, um, illustrated permit. The only reason I show it was that I got it a couple of months ago in the mail. So uh, Christian Blind Mission were using it at the same time as other people were using the illustrated permits. Uh, Christian Children Fund of Canada um, is again a, uh, it's got a, what looks to me like an egg with some dots on it for a picture. And uh, it has no border around the picture. Uh, which is different from a lot of the others. It has no QR code as well. This is a uh, combined Jewish appeal. I thank Dr. Mark Berner for uh, providing me the scan. Uh, he said this is similar to the United uh, uh, Jewish appeal uh, in other parts of Canada. It's uh, raising money for uh, Jewish things. Uh, it's got return postage guaranteed and the French picture of candles, a QR code and a permit number. 
Companions of the Cross. Uh, this one has a number underneath the uh, picture on the right hand side. I do not know what uh, the significance of this is. <laughs> a number of groups have used it and it seems to be something related to uh, their uh, distribution rather than something from the uh, post office. Uh, this is Covenant Foundation. Uh, it's a uh, Roman Catholic foundation raising money to support their Covenant Health 155 uh, year. This has got a picture. It's a horizontal one. It's got a, a QR code and a number uh, beside it. Now, this is a different type, Covenant House of Toronto. It's just a single uh, part. It's got the Canada Post logo at the top, Meta Post in French, and then the uh, the picture and underneath it on the left-hand side is the um, uh, permit number. Now, this is uh, Covenant House in Toronto, but this is a French, or an English version rather than a French version. <laughs> it's got uh, the new form where the uh, permit number is above the QR code, and it's got a number beside it, as I said, beside, I don't know what the number stands for. And it says return postage guaranteed in English and French. This is Covenant House Vancouver. Uh, this again goes back to the single uh, thing where you've got a Canada Post logo, addressed ad mail, and then the French underneath it, uh, a bed and blanket for the youth, and uh, that's their their logo, and the permit number is underneath it on the left-hand side. Uh, this uh, was Crossroads, uh, a... Uh, um, Protestant uh, uh, broadcast in Toronto. This was very obvious what it was sent. This one was sent out for tax receipt. It's a uh, horizontal, I'm sorry, a vertical permit because it's taller than it's wide. Uh, this, the foundation of St. Joseph's Seminary and Newman Theological College. Uh, has a picture of the top of a uh, church building uh, and the, uh, the uh, QR code is beside the permit number. Uh, this, no, oh, just a second. This is Gideon's International in Canada. It has a combination of things. It has a picture, uh, a single thing, but beside it, outside of the permit, is a QR code. Above it, it's uh, RPG and PRG, which is a duplication of what's said at the bottom, return postage guaranteed, and the French. Uh, this is the only one I've seen of this uh, type of uh, a permit. This one, Gideon's International Canada, I'm showing two of them because this is actually a adhesive stamp. Uh, it was uh, supplied to uh, the Gideons uh, in a sheet format, torn apart and put on. And the reason I show it is because it's crooked and it's obvious that it wasn't printed on at the same time. And you can feel it. Uh, Erdo, uh, this is a, uh, a humanitarian agent for a, a Protestant church in Canada. 
uh, and it has got their name and uh, uh, a logo, and uh, it's a horizontal permit. Uh, Evangelical Fellowship of Canada. This is a, <coughs> a publications mail, uh, and it's got a permit number, no QR code, and it's got their logo, their abbreviation, their name, and uh, uh, it says United, Uniting Evangelicals to Bless Canada in the Name of Jesus. So they, have, as well as a picture of a church, they have writing on the permit. Uh, the family, this is a, a typical horizontal uh, picture with a QR code. This is a vertical code with GFA, which stands for uh, Gospels for Asia. Uh, it supported uh, uh, missionary work in Asia, and it's just got their uh, their GFA, their uh, uh, logo. Uh, this is International Fellowship of Christians and Jews. This is a single one, but it's got the, uh, the Canada Post logo at the top, personalized mail, the picture, but underneath it has got a, a QR code plus the uh, uh, permit number beside it. Uh, this I show because it's odd. It really isn't an illustrated permit. It's the left side of, uh, uh, a typical uh, uh, vertical permit. Uh, I don't know what you'd call it, but uh, it isn't a typical illustrated permit. Uh, the uh, International Fellowship of Christians and Jews used lots of them that had the picture to the right of this sort of thing. Uh, In Touch Ministries in Canada, this is Charles Stanley, uh, a minister in Atlanta, Georgia, and his picture and uh, a uh, vertical permit. Uh, Kenneth Copeland Ministries uh, with a logo and, uh, uh, and uh, commemorating 50 years of ministry in Canada. It's got a uh, QR code and a uh, permit number. This is the Bon Dieu dans la Rue. Uh, this is uh, in French, uh, French first, addressed at mail, was only the uh, uh, permit number and no picture. Uh, mustard seed in Canada. This again is a uh, single uh, permit with a Canada logo at the top address at Vail, a picture, and then the QR, the um, permit number at the lower right, lower left. Uh, operation mobilization. Uh, this has the uh, um, permit number above the uh, QR code, so it would have been uh, mailed out uh, in this year. It's uh, OM, their logo operation mobilization, and underneath it, return postage guaranteed and the French. Uh, this is our daily bread ministries in Canada, another uh, vertical one with just uh, a permit number and no QR code. And you'll note that underneath the, uh, the picture, the logo, they have trademark for their trademark. Um, Operation Plowshares. This is a the Peace Research Institute of the Canadian Council of Churches. And it has uh, the two parts, but it's over the picture, it has without justice and love. Peace will always be a great illusion. 
and it's got a uh, QR code and the uh, permit number to the uh, right of the QR code. Uh, Samaritan's Purse International Relief. This is a uh, horizontal one, which has got uh, no QR code. Uh, Scott Mission in Toronto. Uh, they have at least 50 or 60 different pictures in various different colors of, uh, I would presume, clients. And uh, they have them with and without QR codes. This is Shepherds of Good Hope Foundation. Uh, this is an interesting story. Uh, uh, Father uh, Jake Heffernan, uh, a pastor in Lower Town in Ottawa, had a problem. Homeless people would knock on the rectory door looking for meals. And the housekeeper became overwhelmed, even with the assistance of volunteer sandwich makers. And the uh, father made an appeal to his congregation. They opened a church kitchen. They placed an ad in the Ottawa citizens looking for volunteers. Their first meal served in February of 83 had only two clients, but quickly the word spread. And by October, Shepherds of Good Hope was incorporated. They've gone through many different changes uh, and they uh, are feeding hundreds of people uh, every day now. Streets Alive Mission. Uh, this is a different home. This is a different sort of thing. This is sent out by mail out cards. And you can go to mail out cards on the internet and you can have them send out your uh, card. In most cases, they use Christmas cards. In this case, it was Streets Alive Mission in Lethbridge, which is a uh, mission for the uh, homeless uh, and down and outs in uh, Lethbridge. Uh, there are many, many uh, send out cards with the same logo, but uh, and the same number, but they're being sent out by generally people with Christmas cards. United Jewish Appeal Federation, again, this scan, I thank Dr. Mark Berner for it. It's got a, a picture and some writing, as well as the um, QR code and the uh, 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 permit number uh, on a horizontal code. Uh, Vancouver the School of Theology. It's got their logo, uh, their name in the picture part, return postage guaranteed and then in the French and a QR code again to the uh, left of the, um, or to the right of the, uh, uh, QR code. Um, Welcome Hall Mission in Montreal. Uh, this has got a, uh, a picture with some writing which I cannot read because it's so faint in white in a, another vertical, another horizontal code. And this is World Vision. This is the French version. It's got a picture uh, a QR code and a permit number. And this is World Vision in a uh, English version. Uh, it's a horizontal one and it has a uh, QR code and a permit number. And uh, that basically is, is everything. Uh, I urge people who are collecting them not to cut out the uh, the indicia and just save that because in a number of cases you can't tell who <coughs> the uh, user was 
Some of them you can, uh, but it makes much more interesting to know who the user was. I have a number of uh, cut squares that uh, on the VNAP's website that we do not know who the user is. And I uh, uh, classify uh, the uh, cut squares on these illustrated permits, similar to cutting the uh, margins off of uh, adhesive postage stamps or to using just uh, uh, on postal stationery, just cut squares. Now that's uh, a uh, summary of uh, uh, what kind of things you can find. You can find weird things on other uh, non-religious related things. Every once in a while you find dimensional ad mail and I have yet to see a dimensional ad mail on an illustrated permit that was really dimensional mail. Because when I was in the Northwest Territories, I got dimensional mail, which uh, was a, a box with a long, uh, narrow box beside it. And in the box, uh, it had the, the square box that had an apple. And in the other box, it had some literature and it was mailed to me as a doctor. And it said, enjoy this apple as you uh, read this literature. And to me, a uh, illustrated or a, <coughs> a dimensional uh, ad mail type of thing has got to have some dimension. It can't be just a flat envelope. Earl, that was the most enlightening uh, evening. Uh, I'm, I've seen a few of these around. I might have sent you a couple. Uh, this modern postal history is very intriguing. I'm glad you took the time out to share that with us tonight. Uh, I'm you. sure everybody enjoyed it. And they're going to take a second look at their alleged junk mail.